Well, forget what housing might do. This is what President Obama did do today. The president setting a precedent, becoming the first U.S. president to come out openly in support of gay marriage. Now the guys who want to be the next president are reacting. We're going to be hearing from Mitt Romney on this very show tomorrow. But first, his sole surviving challenger, Ron Paul, with me right now. Congressman, very good to have you. What did you make of the president's uh, change of, of stance on this? Well, I have no idea, except it's probably politics as, as usual. I mean, uh, he must think it's worth some votes, so he came out at this particular time. That's about all I can figure out. I don't even know, Congressman, being... um, if there's a libertarian point of view on this, uh, but is there? I mean, for or against gay marriage, does it matter? Well, our, our position is uh, st stay out of people's lives. I would like the state to stay out of marriage. I think marriage should be something that you do in a church. Me personally, I would do it in a church, but uh, a voluntary association shouldn't be interfered with by the state. So I'd just assume that the state not issue licenses or define marriage, let the individual, let two people define marriage, and it'll still annoy some people, but it also would get rid of this whole debate. We wouldn't be arguing about the definition of marriage. I can have my definition, somebody else can have theirs. So it's the interference of the state that we see that uh, gives us this difficulty. Congressman, um, Mitt Romney, when he did address reporters earlier today in Oklahoma City who asked him about this, he was very terse to the point, didn't dwell on it, in fact, left quickly. Um, I believe a marriage is between a man and a woman, and left it at that. Um, what do you think of that? Well, I, I don't have any problem with that. Uh, I, that's my personal belief. I've been married for 55 years, so that's my personal belief. But that doesn't mean I should write laws and force other people to accept my standards. I should set a standard and maybe people would want to emulate it, but I don't like using laws to uh, mold people's behavior, not because I don't, uh, that I don't think the behavior might be, could be improved, it's just I don't believe that's the role of the state, is, to, uh, is not to make people's behavior different. I so think you, you, it's just as it offensive to you than when the president goes out and says, uh, I'm a, I want to change the, the policy or my view of this between just a man and a woman, could be between a man and a man or a woman and a woman. Uh, you don't like it any way the state declares no, what's an acceptable man. marriage? Well, there's some ulterior motives in that. Sometimes it's financial. Sometimes it's telling insurance companies what to do. Right. Sometimes it's, uh, you know, uh, acceptance and these various but other things. But you're saying each of that is both candidates and maybe by extension yourself, yeah. but out of these matters, period. Well, but I, I just think it's more appealing to more people by not being so judgmental and making all these rules. I don't right. like economic rules, but I don't like rules in social orders either, other than the fact you can't force people to do anything and you shouldn't be overly judgmental. So you don't force people, you know, I don't want to force people in social conditions any more than in economic gotcha. conditions. And uh, I think things would be much happier in the world if everybody accepted the rejection of the use of force. Uh, Gary Johnson, the former New Mexico governor, was here. He got the libertarian nod, as you might have heard, uh, Congressman. The talk was that you were asked uh, to be their candidate, and they then walked to him, uh, that you turned them down. Is that true? I, no, I never had a request uh, personally made to me. I, you know, vaguely heard people talking about it on the Internet, but no, nobody came to me and, and asked me to be because I, I was in the middle of a race. I'm s still, you know, a Republican candidate. I've been elected 12 times as a Republican, so I, I think that uh, they knew what the answer would probably be. But that you would we, say I no, because your son was with me on Fox News the other day, Congressman, and he said there's no... I'm paraphrasing here, but the, the gist of it was there's no way you'd be running as an independent party candidate. Is that true? Well, that's what I've, that's what I've said all along, that I have right. absolutely no plans to do it. So if you had your choice between, if you don't get the nomination, and it would be a Herculean leap for you to get the nomination, uh, Mitt Romney, Gary Johnson, Barack Obama, who do you vote for? Well, I'm still voting for myself because I'm still a candidate. <laughs> All right, good answer, no. good answer. All right. Um, Congressman, great seeing you again. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.